Hello there. I'm George Putnam. I'd like to begin with a fact. A simple yet shocking fact. It is this. A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country and is threatening to pervert an entire generation of our American children. The Happy Show. Welcome to the Happy Show. The Happy Show is unknown to most decent adults in our country. The United States Supreme Court has described it as dirt for dirt's sake. The Military Chaplains Association of the United States, practically every major fraternal, civic, and religious organization, the juvenile court judges, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, innumerable psychiatrists, sociologists, and psychologists, attribute the moral decay among our people in very large part to the happy show. This moral decay weakens our resistance to the onslaught of the communist masters of deceit. I wish to make it clear that the obscenity I'm talking about, the happy show, the moral standards and values of our Judeo-Christian heritage. They not only oppose the principles of that heritage, which has given us our rich institutions and laws, but they advocate their overthrow. Through this salacious material, these abnormalities are corrupting the minds and the hearts of our children. Psychiatrists believe that prolonged exposure to the happy show will pervert. Think then of the consequences to the inexperienced who becomes a pawn for these misfits, which can wreck them for life. They constantly portray abnormal behavior as being normal. They glorify unnatural acts. An invitation even is extended to come join the fun. We are here once a week, so come along and take a peek. The degradation of these people is so complete, vice is presented as fun. You're like, you can listen to the Wiz Wizard of Oz, right? You can watch it and listen to Pink Floyd together, man. And, and like, awesome things are supposed to happen. And I think it's gonna be groovy, man. We should check it out. That sounds crazy, dude. Just you don't worry, man. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta use this. <laughs> well, I remember that last time that you said there was something cool. I was like sneezing Comet Cleanser for a week. <laughs> the grotesque costuming, this grotesque material. The vast majority of this material is too obscene to show or to quote to you. There is a special incoming video transmission message for Mrs. Ellis. Ooh, okay. Let's see who it is. Ooh, uh, uh, hi, hi, Mrs. Ellis, hi, Mabel. <laughs> Ooh, hello, crazy cat Pete. Uh, 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 you, you're gooey! You're a silly woman! Oh, uh, yes, yes, you stupid uh, goofus! I like the chickens! Oh, the chickens! Yes, yes, I like chickens too! It's nice that I... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, gooey, stupid! Well, let's welcome uh, Cindy Brady herself, Susan Nelson, to the Happy Show! Hi, Susan! <laughs> Susan! Susan! What? <laughs> Can you see I'm writing my new memoirs about being a pretty? Oh, that's awesome! Writing your memoirs, huh? This is my own illustration! This is me in the first season! You can tell because I got curlier hair! Happy is a big fan of the Brady Bunch. He owns the whole DVD collection of the Brady Bunch TV well, show. I love to be talking about the Brady Bunch and all that stuff all day, but I there's more dimensions to Sid and Nelson than the Brady Bunch. So just leave me alone. Well, I mean, surely you don't mind if we talk about the, the episodes and the stuff. I got I mean, an excellent acting range, and I can do all sorts of parts. And I just want people to respect me for being Susan Nelson! I, I 
don't I don't think she's gonna wanna talk about that episode where she was dressed up as Shirley Temple. What is she? It was tough being a Brady Bus kid. Nobody will let you escape the part. All they ever think about is that you're the character. But I'm not. I'm Susan Olsen. Why can't the whole world respect Susan Olsen? Susan Olsen. Uh, Susan Olsen, who, who acted as Cindy Brady on, on the show. Cindy Brady is just a character, I understand. That's right. I, I don't like being called Cindy. Because I'm not Cindy Brady. I'm Susan Olsen. That's Susan Olsen. We, we, we get it. You, we get it. You're your own person, but... Uh, Last person that called me Cindy, I busted a cap in his... <laughs> Draw my memoirs! Well, Susan, me and Happy, we're very glad you decided to come on the show. We're very honored that you decided to grace us with your presence. So thanks again, Cindy. <laughs> what the? Did you call me? Oh, oh uh, Happy, uh, I'm sorry, Cindy. Uh, Susan! I'm Susan Olsen! I'm Billy Brady, you son of a... <laughs> Susan, I'm sorry, Susan. We better get on with the rest of the show, all right? So uh, everybody over over there, happy. Uh, bye, bye, Sin Susan, Susan, me, yes! <laughs> oh, God! What you have just seen is not the worst material available, and yet even this required editing to make it suitable to be shown in this film. You want to give me your name, son? David Freeman. And how old are you? Eleven. Tell me how the happy show makes you feel, Dave. Well, it'll make me feel too good a couple of times I threw up. Okay, thank you very much. We'll be back in a moment. First, here's a message from our sponsor. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. For the past four years, his voice has moved our hearts and stirred our souls. He is the brilliant balladeer, America's greatest vocalist, Matt Hawes. Here is all the magic of Matt Hawes, the star more popular than the Beatles. I've just seen the face, I can't forget the time of this. Now for the first and only time, 30 of Matt's greatest hits are brought together in a single magnificent collection from Happy Times Music. The ultimate Matt Hawes collection of the sounds that have thrilled countless fans worldwide. Featuring classic hits like Copacabana, All By Myself, Let's Get It On, and many more. 30 Let's hits on three CDs on for just $39.95 or two cassette tapes for $24.95. Not sold in any stores. Call now. To order, credit customers call 1-800-555-6288. That's 1-800-MAT. Or save the COD charges and mail $39.95 for three CDs or $24.95 for two cassettes, plus $4.99 for shipping and handling, to Matt Hawes Sings, P.O. Box 75, No Such Place, Wyoming 30781. Hi, I'm Captain Howdy. I had an integral role in the classic horror film The Exorcist. Do you remember me? No? Well, I can't blame you. It was a real blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment. Here, let's take a look. Now you remember, right? Anywho, 
It's been tough times these past few decades finding movie roles. So I entered the confectionery business. That's right. Captain Howdy's Chocolate Drops. These sinfully tasty dark chocolate drops are so devilishly delicious. You'll feel compelled to eat the whole box. Everyone will want to possess a box of Captain Howdy's Chocolate Drops. Confession may be good for the soul, but these confections are great for the body. <laughs> Pure decadence. And now, while supplies last, you will get a special surprise hidden in each and every box. Ah, sounds like someone found a surprise. So, remember, Captain Howdy's Chocolate Drops. Remember the name and indulge yourself today. In the past few years, this happy show have become increasingly worse, not only in content, but in volume. As I said before, the most insidious feature is that they glorify crime and ridicule law and authority. These two guys are in your face, McAllister and Stone. This old town is a big disgrace, just call them on the phone. Here they come down the street, McAllister and Stone. Running fast, groovy men, making it on their own. You better run, you better hide, they gon' get you. They on the gate, stay in your face, they gon' get you. They don't eat donuts or drink coffee, they gon' get you. They too busy being groovy, they gon' get you. Fighting crime, cleaning grime, McAllister and Stone. McAllister, he likes lime, his best friend is Stone. Here they come. With their fun, McAllister and Stone They use their fun to beat you down Your butt they're gonna own You better not get in their way They gon' get you They clean up this dirty town every single day They gon' get you I almost fit the words in I almost did that They gon' get you They act strange, they fight and crime They gon' get you I'm getting bored now. Put the show on already. McAllister and Stone. McAllister and Stone. This warped idea of fun has contributed to the fact that one out of every 20 children born in the United States last year was illegitimate. What the happy show promote as fun has helped to increase the spread of venereal disease in this country. The Taffy Show is helping to create criminals faster than we can build jails to house them. All right, here we go. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, we had uh, something happen to us last night. You know, we were outside of Buckingham Palace, and we wanted, you know, to we, tell the word. We were being harassed by the man. We were being harassed by the man. We were being oppressed, like, all. Oh, yeah. Why can't they leave the kids alone? We might have been hucking some rocks and some windows. Anyway, all right. I, we, thought, I thought you improved the neighborhood. It didn't matter what people think, all right. We were just doing our thing, you know, being punks. Anarchy! All right. So, you know, we had it all caught on film, you know, my friend Reggie's cell phone, but it was really dark and it didn't turn out very well, so we're going to have to reenact it for you here. You know. Ah, what an invigorating night of hucking rocks at Buckingham Palace. It was indeed a splendid evening of anarchy. Fun was had by all. Anarchy, the anarchy. It's a lovelier decor. 
I think. Yes, we spruce it up a bit with our urine on the grass. Hey, hmm. what's, what's with this lot then, you spotty gits? Where? Hey, look at those two over there, hucking rocks and pooping on things and such. Yeah, now, we won't have any more of this. Hey! Oh no! It's a fascist! Bloody hell! Alright, what is it with you lot then? What are you up to? Oh no! We're goners! We're gonna run you in, we are! Who, Who will, will save, save us, us now? now? The work here is done. Another victory for anarchy. This does not take into account the human misery or suffering that cannot be measured. The happy show is challenging every mother and father in this country and everyone interested in the welfare of our children. And so, my friends, the question is whether you consider the happy show to be below your community standards. Of course, your community standards are far above this depraved material. Hi, my, hi, it's me, it's my crazy cat pie. Uh, how y'all doing? <laughs> Hello, Pete. We're gathered here for a very serious reason. This is an intervention. Ooh, I mean detention. I mean detention. No, Pete, not detention, intervention. You know, Let's be honest, Pete. We all know that you're addicted to the nip. I, I, I don't need nap. I just got it for my birthday. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! That's Wee! catnip, Pete. Catnip. I, I don't know nobody named Patrick. Oh, Pete. Catnip. Catnip. This stuff here, Pete. This stuff. Catnip. Ooh. Let go, Pete. Ooh. 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 No more catnip for you. You need to get that monkey off your back. Now, what can you do to solve the problem? You've seen the nature of the problem. Report the happy show to the police. Every arrest and prosecution, every conviction, is a step in the education of the public to the solution of the problem. Remember, the law is your weapon. Hi everybody, me and Happy made it. We're back in time for Happy Holiday. Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad to see that everybody is so safe and sound. This holiday belongs to all of us, no matter how different we all appear. We all are the same in our struggle against the powers of evil and darkness. I hope this day will always be a day of joy in which we can reconfirm our dedication and our courage, and more than anything else, our love for one another. This is the promise of the happy holiday. Oh no! can see from what I have told you and shown you today that a moral decay is spreading through our country and our society. This same type of rot and decay caused 16 of the 19 major civilizations 
to vanish from the earth. Magnificent Egypt, classical Greece, imperial Rome, all crumbled away, not because of the strength of the aggressor, but because of the happy show. And now, a final word from our sponsor. In a world of war, scandal, and strife, there is one safe refuge for the teeming masses. One man, one puppet, and his ragtag pals are about to make the world a happier place. HSN Studios presents Happy Show, the movie, featuring an all-star cast. Matt Hawes, portrayed by Horatio Sanz. Al Chantry, portrayed by Steve Buscemi. David W. Johnson, portrayed by Andy Dick. An alien visitor as Matthew Billman. And in his first feature film appearance as Happy the Happy Show Puppet, the Arby's of a Knit. So come along and take a peek. Happy Show, the movie, coming this summer. Please check your local listings, may not be screened, areas ruling populations. All resemblance to the people living on dead is purely called sandal. This is a parody of numbskulls. Our Constitution was written by men who put their trust in God and founded a government based on his laws. These laws are on our side. We have a constitutional guarantee of protection against the happy show, and in this day especially, we must seek to deliver ourselves from this twisting, torturing evil. We must save our nation from decay, and deliver our children from the horrors of the happy show. We must make our land, the land of the free, a safe home. Oh God, deliver us, Americans, from the happy show. Oh, this is the happy show. Boom. <laughs>
What are you doing watching this show? It's horrible! <laughs> He's got a puppet! Woo oh, I'm happy! I'm happy! Me, 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 little kitty, kitty, kitty! Show. Oh, oh my bunions. <laughs>